Well, seeing that it's coming up to Christmas time, I thought that in this video I would show you how to draw a Christmas tree in Inkscape. Now, Inkscape is a free open source scaled effects graphics editor which is available for a few different operating systems. So I've got a 1920 by 1080 image here, but I suppose the image size doesn't matter too much because I can print this out at the size of a postcard or a billboard and it will still look lovely and smooth. And that's the beauty of scaled vector graphics. So I'll choose the pen tool first. I just want to create a straight line down the middle of the page. So hold down control, then right click to finish. Now I'm going to draw the tree at one sort of part segment at a time. And I want to make sure that snapping is enabled. So enable snapping. I've got snap nodes and handles, snap to paths, and snap to cusp nodes. So clicking about there, handle to cusp node. Now I don't want to quite be at a 45 degree angle, I'm going to be just slightly under that. So hold down control, make, get it to 45 degree, and then move back a little bit. Something like that will do. Head back towards that middle line, and I'm just going to click the line a couple of times there just to create a little bit of an angle. So yeah, it's got handle to path and then back to there, handle to cusp node. And that finishes that line. Now to delete the line I created first off. So that's with the edit nodes and paths. Select it and delete. So just press the delete button on the keyboard. Now to select that first segment, press control C, control V. That's drop that there. And same again. So am I happy with that outline? Yeah, don't look too bad. Now what I wanted to go and do is actually just put a line back in. So that creates the centre line of the tree. All will become apparent in the moment of what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put the pen to there and I'm just going to create a line across the middle. Back to the top. I'm going to trace around the first segment. Right click to finish. Now highlight those two. So I'll select the first one, hold down Control and Shift, select the next one, and go up to the menu, a path, union. Alright. Same sort of thing for the bottom segment. I'll line across, make it a little bit jagged. Up to there. Trace the second segment. Okay, right click to finish. Same again, highlight the two, go to path, union. Now I remove that middle line, select the whole tree, so I hold down shift, drag the mouse, control C, control alt V. Press H, mirrors it. Now I've just got to drop, drop it across. Snaps into place. Highlight those two. Then the same again. That's path union for those two. Path union. And there. Path and union. That is a three segment tree now created. It's lovely and symmetrical. Now to select all the segments again, so holding down shift and drag the mouse over them all. Go filters, ABC, and I'm going to select roughen. Now to give it a colour and take away the stroke. So I'm going to go for fill first. We want, sort of green would be nice, wouldn't it? But I want a gradient of the green. And I want it at mm, going in that direction. So I'm just going to highlight the RGBA number, press Control C, go across that end, Control V. Why hasn't it changed? Because the opacity is right down. That was why. I'm going to make that one a little bit darker. I'm going to make that end a little bit lighter. Maybe not too light. And a, bit, a little bit darker still. Yeah, that's good. And turn the stroke off. I'm going to do the same again for this segment. So I'll turn the stroke off, give it a fill effect, linear, 
choosing the same number as earlier. Drag the gradient into the right place. This is getting a bit slow because of all the roughening up I did on this object. Of course, Inkscape is only a single core program. Come on, Inkscape. I'm going to take the really light end just a bit above that whole segment of the tree, just because it can be a bit darker now. Now notice there's a small gap between those two segments of the tree, so I'm just going to select that and press up. It just moves it up slightly. Same for the bottom segment of the tree. Not bad, not bad, but it's too light across there, perhaps where there should be a shadow. So what I'm going to do to get rid of that, highlight that segment, press Ctrl C, Ctrl Alt V, paste, in exactly, paste this in exactly the same spot. And I need a new linear gradient. What I'm after is, well I'm hoping it was going to create a new one there. Let's turn the gradient off entirely. Go back and, ah, there we go. It's giving me a new one. Dark at the top to transparent at the bottom. And if I put it there, i just move it up a little bit. That's the sort of effect I was trying to create there. Same again down there. Control C, Control Alt V. Turn the fill off. Well, actually, no, I've got a gradient now selected, haven't I? I want that one, 3991. Put that into the top. And that end to in a straight line. Come on, move. So that's the foliage drawn. Let's just highlight that a lot and move up the screen a little bit. Now to give it a trunk. Just zoom in a bit here. Create a partially diagonal line down a little bit. For the bottom, hold down control to so make it straight. Back up. We'll go up into the green a little bit. And across the beginning. Brown. Mm. Probably that one really. Make it a little bit darker. Now we'll go for a linear gradient. Gradient select and tool. Move across to the middle of the tree trunk. I'll we'll go for a lighter brown. Maybe a bit too light. Ah, something like that, that's good. Select the gradient fill type again. And I'll choose a repeat of reflected. Right, zoom out. Yep, looks pretty close to the middle. So selecting the trunk, press end. I want to move it below the green. I'm zooming in and I select the edit path tool. Now I'll round off the bottom of that tree trunk. There we go, I'll just drag the line, move it down a bit. One Christmas tree. Now let's decorate it. Have a star. Now let's make it yellow. I could have a node selector here. Snap from and to centers of object. Object midpoint cusp node. There you go, that made it easy up a little bit. And I'm going to select filters, ABCs, diffuse light. Ah, that looks good now. A few ball balls, circle, holding down control. Uh, let's have that as red. Filters, ABCs, diffuse light. Hey, looking good. You can scatter these throughout the tree. Uh, let's give it a different colour. What colour should we have? Well, we've got lots to choose from. Cyan. A couple of them. And of course it wouldn't be the same without a bit of text. Merry Christmas. Blue. Let's put that over the middle of the tree. Draw a path, hold down control to get a straight line. Just give it a stroke colour. Just gonna drag that line up a bit to create a curve. Get rid of the fill, I don't want the fill, right. Yeah, that sort of curve, that's what I'm after. Select the text, hold down control shift, select the line, and go up to text, put on path. Merry Christmas folks, and have a happy new year.